Hey guys, it's Ben Xiong here and welcome again to Learn Australian Strength Performance, Learn ASP. This is our YouTube channel. Today we will be delving into something a little bit different. I will be moving into an advanced back superset. This exercise combination down here will be great for those of you that may not have the time to do a back workout when you go into the gym or if you are an advanced trainee and you want to take your back workout to that next level. So the setup of these two exercises in the superset, it's gonna be a little bit different. It will require a little bit of time setting up, but the end result, I can guarantee you, will be the amazing back pump that you're gonna get out of it. The first exercise I'm gonna to introduce to you is a concept which we call isometronics. Isometronics really requires a setup in a pin rack. So if you have a, a rack that allows you to poke pins through, that's how isometronics is going to be set up. In this first exercise today, I'm going to be doing a back row. So a bend over row with a pin rack. I've actually set the pins to the lowest position of my bend over row, and the top pin is set to the highest position where I drive my elbows back and I can't pull back anymore. So the highest position of my bend over row. In the isometronic exercise, I will be performing this particular exercise in three parts. The first part is where I'm doing one third of the bottom movement. The second part is the second third of the movement. The third part is the top third of the movement. When I break the movement into three parts within a rack, this helps me to build strength in all three different regions. So the isometronics is a movement that focuses on the isometric contraction at the top. Essentially, you will see me as I perform the movement, and you probably understand this better, as I aim to break through the pins with as much strength as I can, holding the isometric. So this particular exercise, isometronics, focuses on the isometric contraction of the lift. The isometric contraction is about 10 to 15% stronger than your concentric contraction, which is most of the time what most people focus on within the gym is just pushing the weight up. So this particular contraction type is a great introduction to a workout because most people don't focus on the isometric contraction within the lift itself. Now, after the isometronic movement, I then proceed on to do a pull-up. This is the second part of the superset. In a pull-up itself, I'm going to focus on the eccentric loading specifically of this movement, which means that I will step up on the pins to hold myself in the top position and let myself come down as slow as I can over a period of 10 seconds. I will do this for three reps. So the eccentric contraction of the lift where your muscles are being lengthened, it's typically the contraction of the lift that you can lift the most weight. Now remember, after my isometronic set, I'm already fatigued. In order to maximize my fatigue, I perform eccentric loading on the pull-up itself. So I let myself extremely slow as I come down for a period of 10 seconds for two to three reps. This completely decimates my lat muscle and gives me that luscious pump that I'm looking for. So here's how the isometronic works. Watch me pull against the pins for five reps. I pull it and the last rep, the sixth rep, I pull it as hard as I can trying to break through the pins for eight seconds. Once I finish, that drops. I then proceed on to do the eccentric only pull-ups. So I step up and let myself very slow down for an eccentric count of 10 seconds. Step up again, let myself down for a count of 10 seconds. Why do I do this? Because as I mentioned earlier, the eccentric loading is the loading where you can fatigue a lot more of your muscles and this is where you can lift the heaviest load. That's set number one. In set number two, I perform the isometronics now in the second region, which is the one-third mid-range region. Again, five reps with a isometric pull at the top for eight seconds. Once this is done, I perform the pull-ups yet again for two to three reps. Stepping up, top position, 
and letting myself down very slow for a count of 10 seconds. By the second set, you would see that I'm already fatigued. My arms are starting to fail me, my lats are starting to fail me. Okay, that's my last rep there. All the way down, and I'm struggling. And once this set is done, there is a big rest, and I move on to my last and final set where I work on the top one third region of my isometronics. Again, the focus here is driving my elbows back. And in my last rep, rep number six, I'm pulling it against the bar for eight seconds. There you go. That's the end of that particular set. And on to the last set of eccentric focus pull-ups. Letting myself down slow for a count of 10. Now, you probably won't be able to complete a full 10 seconds here because your lats, your arms will give up given that the fact that you are already fatigued from the isometronic pulls. The superset here is a very effective one, but it is not a superset for a beginner. Okay, this movements are, are great if you are more of an advanced athlete or someone looking to spice up your training if you have done some training in the gym before. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, explanation of the advanced superset using isometronics and eccentric focus pull-ups. One of the reasons why I love to incorporate isometronics is because it really helps to upregulate your nervous system. And we know that strength is a function of nervous system upregulation. That means if you can effectively recruit all those muscle fibers through your nervous system, you can actually lift more and make sure that you walk out of that workout maximizing the muscle that you wish to maximize. Now in this case, your back. Use these tips wisely, make sure you apply it, and let me know how you go in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you in our next YouTube video.